welcome back to another edition of Table Talk. I'm your host, Terrence Turner, and I'm very delighted, I'm elated that you chose to spend some time here with us. You could have really been doing anything else with your time, but you decided to, you know, tune in, whether you're watching it or you're just listening, but I greatly appreciate it. So today, who pulled up to the table is a personal friend of mine, knowing this guy for a very, very, very long time, man. Um extremely funny dude but even beyond the funny very deep thinker a lot of people don't even know that side but i know this side um i want to welcome mr tony king to the table what, 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 what do i do with my hands i don't <laughs> what's up man what's going on uh, man? i appreciate it man that was quite an intro man i'm honored well i'm i mean on, you know I, I personally know i always feel weird um intro and people that i personally yeah, know yeah, you know because yeah, it's like yeah. i know you yeah and then i'm trying to think okay what all can i say yeah and then you know you know i don't want to slight it i don't want to slight it but yeah. then i also don't want to make dude feel uncomfortable and exactly then, you know, I'm, I'm you know I, when you were talking delighted i thought you were saying oh i'm delighted to be i'm you delighted I'm delighted and elated turn it down my boy no turn man down. i got to <laughs> listen man I, I i'm still paying a student loan i got to show hey, it well, off well, well, i got to show it off man i know no, no, no hey man I'm, I'm happy to be here man i'm honored, i appreciate man. that Look, man we got, we got we got some fiji water man you brought up the fiji water for I, you, tr- I try to i try to do right now 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 i'm gonna be honest with you you were right i have known you for a long time yeah yeah i have never been offered feet you brought the good water out for me you ain't bring out the 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 great value nah man nah, oh I got man to... i done made it camera's rolling man we got to have the fiji water I, I, out i done made it man i done made it yeah man i'm 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 i'm, I'm honored man now, this, now, this, now this, for, for those who who may not be familiar with you which you know that's hard pressed mm-hmm. but for those who may not be familiar with you you are I want to kind of run it down, but I don't want to say the, say the wrong title because you are a lot of things. I and 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 words are important. Titles are important. They are, but we, I am multi hyphenate, right? And uh, it it, it is a. Uh, I think, man, what you call something or what you call somebody is very important. And I think a lot of people spend so much time. I don't know. It's like, and, and one part of me wants to acknowledge everything that I can and do. Mm-hmm. And the other part of me doesn't want to be labeled to be boxed in. You don't in. want to put in, be put in a box. Right, because a lot of people can't think outside of that. Or once you get a certain label, they say, oh, well, this is what you do. You can't not do anything else. Like when right. you see people talk about shut up and dribble. Right. As if somebody cannot also be a well-informed, well-educated, thoughtful, nuanced uh, Which that to, to me that that is extremely insulting and lazy. I mean, extreme, yeah, extremely lazy. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to insult me, at least put some more thought behind it than yeah. just the whole shut up and dribble. But 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 that's what they do to try to discount whatever your opinion is in whatever subject that you were talking about. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I personally believe that you know my personal mantra. You know, it, 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 if I had to sum it down. Uh, to one sentence, it would be become a renaissance man. When I first learned what that word was, I remember I was in seventh grade. I was 12 years old. I, my mama was the kind of person who, if you didn't know something, you can't ask her. Right. You, you If you ask her, she's going to tell you to look it up. And I am grateful for my that. My mother did the same thing <clears> to me. What's a country upbringing type thing? Yeah. You know, that, of that time. Yeah, because you know, your mother was from Mississippi. Mississippi. Vicksburg, Mississippi. My mother was from Augusta, Arkansas. See what I'm saying right don't there? Don't nobody know where Augusta is. Exactly. Pointed out on the map. I, I, I don't know. Exactly. But, you know. but, but when I first learned what that word was, I said, man, I want to be that. Right. So... I made it a point. I, I, you know, if if it's music, I can talk about it. If need be, I can play it. Right. If it's you know any level of society, whether it's politics, government, math, we got chess here. If we broke it out, I could play it. I'm not saying I'm going to be great at it, but I'm gonna be good enough to where you can say he knows how to play. But you you matriculated through a lot. Just and like I said, these are just things that I know of you. Mm-hmm. You know, you you've done comedy okay. in, in the stand-up realm right and you've been on radio right which is you know a form of media where it encompasses entertainment and information and 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 let me say this about about my time in radio i <laughs> shouts out to the meredith school of journalism at drake university i'm not some dude who just said 
I want to, you know, get on radio. I can act a fool. Let me just jump on radio. No, it was a well thought out plan that I had planned out at 17 years old. I knew, okay, this is how I'm going to. This wasn't just a whim. No, it wasn't a whim. whim. I remember where I was when I said it. I remember what period uh, in six period Miss Harris English class. We had Marcus Wiley, comedian Marcus Wiley, substitute my class. Shout out to Miss Harris. Yeah. Wherever she may be. Whatever subject she taught. It was English. Okay. Senior English. Okay. I was mad because it was six period of the day. So I had to be there, be at school all day because that's the only uh, uh, class that I had to take. Wait, y'all didn't get out early? <laughs> no. Oh, man. No. Man. And then remember, I played ball. So this is true. So, so, so I, I was I was going to okay. mention that too. So, yeah. I mean, you, you, like I said, you've matriculated through a lot. You, yeah. you know, you, you were a football player. Division one. D1. D1. Okay. D1. Mm-hmm. Uh, Comedian, yeah. Radio personality, radio personality. Uh, actor, T- actor. Uh, th- uh, a, the- a theater, thespian, thespian. And 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 let me say something about that. Sixth grade. I remember when I joined the Young Thespians Club with Miss Gilmore. We performing uh, a Christmas Carol at lunch with uh <laughs> with middle school students at lunch. Do you know how hard that is? Extremely hard. But they don't want to see you. I, right. And and being in a club called the Young Thespians Club in uh, middle school. You got drove, didn't you? Oh, what? Yeah. I was in the Young Lesbians Club. I was in the, <laughs> it was all that. But I still kept going every day, though. Exactly. Because I knew what it was that I wanted to do. Uh, they, they, they had some nice looking girls in the class, too, didn't they? No. They didn't? No. Because normally. No, we had, it, was, it was middle school, so we had all the weirdo girls. But weirdos can they have a hidden It's middle school, man. It's not high school. High school is when the weirdo girls you know what, you find right. out about the weirdo you're girls. Right, you're right. Middle school, the weirdo girls are half a step from from wearing still Jinko wearing diapers. And, <laughs> yeah, they 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 wear Jinko with airwalks. Yeah, man. It was it was it was Yeah, it it, it, it was with weird. that big ass bang hanging on. Yeah, right. Man, it was, it was, right. Yeah, that was yeah, the beginning yeah, of the yeah. gothic stage. Yeah, and everything man, it too, was, man. It was, yeah. But, but okay, so so we 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 we've, we've covered that and how that the, none of these things were by accident. They no. were all by by design. Yes. Um. And and we bring up your your, your stage acting as well. You mm-hmm. you've done TV. Yes. Where your 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 your, your late night show mm-hmm. was on in in multiple markets across twenty six twenty six markets. Mm-hmm. See, I said multiple. I yeah. didn't know how many. No, no, I wasn't gonna put a number, but twenty six markets, which is which is a huge deal. Yeah. And you're also a writer. Yeah. Uh, uh not just. In, in multiple ways, a writer. I, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but when I first got uh, into radio, I got into radio because I was writing for a comedic bits for stations around the country um, for a service called United Stations Radio Networks. Okay. So I used to write the bits and also do some of the voice acting for them. In two, well, I ain't going to say the year, but in this particular year, <laughs> <laughs> I was a voice actor of the year. And what's so funny about it, I remember I was a... Uh, I was uh, visiting a friend and he was saying, man, why don't y'all do stuff like this? Mm -hmm. And he played a prank call and I was like, yo, that's me. He's like, no, that's not. And I finished the call for him. And I said, the reason that I, the reason I gave the name of Marcus was because my cousin Marcus was right next to me when I recorded it. You know, this is why they said it is for this show and this how much I got paid for it. Like I would get seventy five dollars a bit. Right. And so if you don't write, you don't eat. So like I was Which hey, back then probably probably good money. It was not. Because they didn't buy every bit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was oh. I and, and and that's another thing. So but then also too, not just writing comedically, I also uh used to give music reviews for uh, the source and also Down Magazine. You know that that's, so, that's yeah, that, that's that was my jam right yeah, there, that man. was that, that was huge. So I was able to give. Uh, let me see, I did four for the source and I did three for Down Magazine, which Down Magazine was a subsidiary of Source, which was founded by their co-founder. Right. So um, so yeah, that too. My bad. Okay. And 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 even when we're talking about your behind the scenes stuff, you're also um, recently, you you've added director, yeah, producer to your to your to your resume and, as well and, too, and, and, and screenwriter, right? Screenwriter, film uh, director, and uh, producer as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that uh, is is funny because you know we, we cool, we friends, right, right. So we always talk about different television shows and things like that, and there are a few that stand out that make 
that that become a regular reference. We will drop a a line <laughs> from about six different uh uh uh, TV shows, or series, movies. or movies. In the run of a 10-minute conversation. Now, it can be any number of TV shows or movies, but about six of them are r- more regular. Right. And so... Uh, number one on the list probably is pro- probably paid in full. Is it, now, is it, we go through cycles. We do, we do. Because it was one time, like, it depends on how close it is to when the series is over. Because I remember when Sopranos had just finished. yeah. And I went it, on it this was a lot pre- of Soprano It references. was a lie. It was a Sopranos reference went on for a minute. Yeah. And and, then, and the Entourage references. Entourage references went on for a minute. Yeah. Uh now I think we we go hard if it was TV on billions and mm. paid in full are probably yeah. the two biggest ones. Billions and paid in full. Right. And paid in full is normally used in reference <clears throat> when we when we got something coming up. Yeah. Or oh New Jack City. New Jack City. Right. New Jack City has been one that snuck back up, and it has. And, and it's only and, one line. It's only one line. It's only, it's only the one line. It's but, only one and line. And it's always in a celebratory, <laughs> yeah, uh, mood when you know it, it has to be brought out. It's one line. I would, I, I would say, it, cause you got to act the line out. We do. You got to act the line. I ain't gonna do it right now. I ain't gonna do it right. We got, we got to save that. Right That's gonna be like I, an outtake I, or something. I ain't do it right now. But, but. If, if you're a fan of New Jack City, you know the line. You know the line. All I'm going to say is. They in a Jeep. It, it, they in a Jeep. <laughs> and they didn't come back for the, for the blow. <laughs> they ain't come back. They, ain't, they ain't, Look, they, they came, came back, back for, for the, the base. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, I had my Jimmy Wax by three, four times last week. <laughs> Oh man! Oh man! Yeah, ain't nobody. <laughs> so yeah, you see how it can just happen yeah. it, it, at, any, that, at any point. At any point, at any point. Movie, so I say this too: if if you hang around one of us, you know this is fact that you're gonna you're gonna get a movie reference or a show reference in the run of that conversation. Yeah, we could be talking about anything, and it's gonna drop. We can talk about politics. It's gonna drop. We can talk about life. It's gonna drop. Relationships, sports. We, it's gonna drop. Death. It's going to drop. Something at from any, a movie at, or a show is going to drop. It's going to drop. Just know that. But so, yeah, let me see. That's a, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it's, it's, it, it, it rotates. It rotates. Payton Fool has been a favorite, but yeah, Payton, like you Payton. said, in the, yeah. la- in the last couple of months, New Jack City has New crept Jack City, back in now. New Jack City has crept back in. And we, behind the scenes, it, it's been a lot of times where that yeah. line has to be said because yeah. there's a lot of celebrating behind the scenes. <laughs> you might not see it in front, but there's, there's some things being built. That's interesting, though. That you say that it's a lot of celebrating that is that goes on behind the scenes, right? And and I think that a lot of people, especially black men, don't celebrate each other enough. You know, it's like I believe that it's uh, and 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 another thing too is that you know you said behind the scenes. I have, I'm a very introspective guy. You know, I take self inventory. Okay. You know, and uh, I think a lot of I think for me, um, I recognize certain aspects of my personality mm-hmm. that I like and certain aspects that I don't. And the ones that I don't, I try to change. Self-inventory. And, and, and when you say behind the scenes, I have grown away from uh, the whole social media shout out thing. Yeah, I don't. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't believe in putting my every move on social media. If if, if 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 you see me on social media, yeah, y- y'all know it's it's more than likely probably to promote to bully some to beat somebody up bully whoa to whoa, beat whoa. somebody okay. up okay you know what <laughs> this is starting to, to become to, a trend to, to to punch uh to grab at low this, hanging fruit this is starting to become a trend with to, people to, telling me that I'm a bully that to get a magnifying glass am, and hold it over ant hills I am not like. a bully <laughs> I resent that. There's no bullying going on. Not, not. not I and, spread truth. Let me let, let me clarify. I don't want people to take the wrong way. <laughs> I ain't talking about bullying. Where uh, yeah, well, I, I'm I'm not cyber bullying. No, no. This ain't the be best campaign. We ain't talking about bullying no, like that. We no. we are talking about when you know that someone is not able to. <laughs> How do I know that? Fully articulate a perspective or a point or an opinion. And that's you, subjective. And you know it. That's no, subjective. No, you 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 can tell if somebody does not 
uh, uh, have the linguistic capacity, but if but, and dexterity, but they can't, but they can't ever say that they weren't told, and it's the responsibility if you know better to inform someone who does it. Yeah, but the problem is, is that people don't know that they don't know better. Like, like we we have there's and, known unknowns. <laughs> it's I, unknown, unknown. I, I I blame social media for this because everybody can put a status up and they believe that their voice should be amplified. Yeah. And it has given people a greater sense of self than what it what may actually be there. And keep in mind, we're coming off the heels of the everybody gets a trophy mentality. Yeah. You know, exactly. so social media magnified that to the umpteenth power, in my opinion. No, you're like, right. You know, we're coming off the hills, and, and that was, you know, with the with the helicopter parents mm-hmm. where, you know, kid can't follow, scrape they need without yeah. the parent being right there. Yeah. So now you get to this point to where everybody gets a trophy, mm-hmm. and it's this inflated sense of worth. Yeah. Where it's like, by just virtue of me being here, I'm just afforded everything. If everybody's good, then nobody's good. Exactly. Like now, now, well now we we we've devalued what it means to be a certain thing. Yeah. You know, that's just like how music has been devalued because it's so accessible. Yeah. Social media has made opinions so accessible. And not to say everyone shouldn't have a voice. But in the same sense, everyone's not qualified to speak on everything. No, well well well, well let me say this. Because everybody has an option to hit send after they type in those letters. People believe that, that their opinion should carry weight. And, and it don't all the time. I don't think people's opinion should carry weight. Like, like, who are you? Like, who are you that I should listen to you? Right. I don't care who you are. Who are you? It doesn't mean that you disrespect anything that they've earned. You're not. But it go it goes back to qualifications of you know, if, if we're speaking on a certain subject, mm-hmm. right, and everybody can just speak on this, right? Yeah. But I would much rather hear from someone who's who's done, who's put the work in to study what we're talking about. Yeah, a- a- absolutely. And I, I would like for them to render an opinion. If we're talking about, you know, the human body, mm-hmm. I don't need to hear from the guy who works at 7-Eleven about the human body. I want to talk to the guy who studied for 12 years in medical school. That's that's whose opinion I'm I'm interested in. I'll take you one better. I'm willing to listen to anyone who has studied, period, whether it's medical school or whether you chose to read books, books, yeah, not not headlines, books, not memes, not memes, books, not listen to YouTube videos, books, verified sources, not Dr. Sabi. I'm sorry, hoteps and ashy Negroes <laughs> books. <laughs> Not somebody with a kufi on books. Not somebody with. Uh, you can wear a kufi if if, if it's if. Bro. I say this: if you have a kufi on, but you've still done the proper research, then then that's just your attire. I'm not gonna judge you on your attire. Books. Books. <laughs> books is still the key. Let me tell you why I say. I'm books. not discounting the guy with the kufi if let, he's done his reading. Let, let Let me tell you why I say books. Because what you were talking about is a low barrier to entry. Okay. And when you have a low barrier to entry, then anybody can get in. Like, if there's no dress code, anybody can come in here, right? Right. So, if we raise it up, then it makes people have to work harder to get in. Right. When you upload... It it, it, it has to be a standard. A standard. YouTube doesn't have a standard. Facebook doesn't have a standard. Nothing on social media has a standard where they are going to fact check your status when you say that you are trying well, to drop something. And I know what you're about to say. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, and finally, they're starting to, to try to fact check things now. Like well, I, but I mean, and I feel like we're like 10 years too late for it. it, it it's the, the genie's out the bottle. Yeah. The toothpaste is out the tube and we can't but, put it back in. Exactly. And so the whole thing is that there's no barrier to entry. But when you put out a book, that printing company, and I'm not talking about independently because it's a little bit different with that. It's right. a high, a little higher barrier, but it's still not the, the the regular, commonly accepted media print 
barrier that everyone else has to go through. And if you put something out in any of the major print and ha- the print houses, they have a standards and practices division right. where they are going to comb through your book. If you say that this is nonfiction, they are going to comb through that book. And they have to verify it. To make sure that they are not liable for any misinformation that you print out right. or that they print out on your behalf. Right. So there's a higher barrier to entry. So when we are reading these things, then there's a greater probability that what they are saying is closer to what may be accurate than not. But people don't read anymore. No, they read. People don't read books anymore. No, they don't read books. Yeah. No, smart people read books. Right. But the ma- the mass public... The, the the majority of the population it's stupid and call i said it, what it is call it what it is. I, well i've i've said that misinformed times. but you can only be misinformed by by being stupid well and i'll say this at this point now some people are being willfully misinformed where it's like i don't even want the real information but let me go back full circle okay about your opinion carrying more weight than what it is. The reason that most people have an inflated sense of ego and self is because they believe because of those participation trophies, helicopter parents, everything you do is perfect. Mm -hmm. They believe that their opinion is correct. And if I don't know it, that means it doesn't exist. And they confuse opinions with facts. I have a gut feeling about this. And you start to rationalize things that you don't know anything about. And it starts to become something more of a Dunning Kruger effect. Mm -hmm. And when you have a thought in your head, I'll give you a perfect example. Okay. Not to put your information out there, but the last car that you bought, you remember before you bought that car, you never saw that car. It, or you did, but it wasn't a lot. Yeah, maybe, you know. Every now and again. Yeah, you every see now it, and yeah. again. One, yeah, one, the once minute you it. bought it, you felt like you saw it right next to you every single day. The same exact model, the same exact remember, color. I pointed it out to you. We, we, were, we, were, we were going somewhere. Right. And I'm like, dude, was it this many of this model? around before i got it and the answer is it probably was just didn't pay attention to it you didn't pay attention to it because of something called reticular activating systems say it one more time reticular activating systems your res it's what the algorithm on all of social media tries to imitate right the more something is in the front of your mind the more you start to recognize it right So it would be like, okay, I got Chuck Taylors on. And now since I have Chuck Taylors on, it's at the front of my mind. Now I'm going to notice Chuck Taylors more. With that RAS, because you believe that your opinion is right and you go out and search for information, what you think is information, you are only going to notice that information that justifies your belief. This is very true. And then I, it starts to become dangerous in the echo chamber. I, I have people <clears> who, <throat> who work with me uh, on production. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we, we do commercial. You got a staff. <laughs> Just go and say it. You got a staff. We, Don't you, you say it. You, you make it seem like, oh, I, I got about, you know, one, one or two people that just come by every now and again in their free time. No, you got a staff. We a work, full staff. We work together. A group of people. We, we I, I work with with uh, very professional people. Uh, people uh, as uh, in plural. Uh, there, there, there are multiple people that you give responsibilities to, and hold them accountable. We, 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 we share <laughs> a, <business> a logo. <laughs> <laughs> but I had this conversation with them before, and they were like, "I can't watch TV the same anymore mm-hmm. since they started doing production." Mm-hmm. Now they notice things that they never would have mm-hmm. noticed before, but because they film now, they because they're say, editing yeah. now, mm-hmm. they're like, I can't, mm-hmm. like TV is way, di- like now I'm looking at, well, why they use that angle? Or, yeah. Why they cut right here? Oh, that's a horrible transition. Like they, yeah. and they're like, you know, it, it's your fault. They blame yeah. me for it now. Yeah. Because I exposed it to yeah. them. And, but it, it goes back to what it's you It's always saying. been there. Yeah, it's always been there. It's just that there. now it's at the front of their mind because it's something that is active that they are a part of. Right. I'll give you a perfect example. One day we were sitting around talking about different movie ideas, right? And we were talking about a superhero movie. Right. Okay. And remember I shared with you the formula. Right. I remember. And you were like, oh, damn. You right. Yeah, because I started recounting every, and I'm like, mm-hmm. yo, it's the same track. It's the every, same formula. Yeah. Every single time. Yeah. See, 
not to sound too Claren Avant ish on this. Every, no, go go ahead, go ahead and talk that Claren Avant. Man, I I love numbers, and I love math, and I love formulas because it all goes back to math. It's everything is a formula. Right. Everything. It is this with this and that. It is a formula. It's always gonna add up to something. It's gonna add up to something. And so everybody spends so much time thinking that oh, this is what you need, and oh, you got to have this or that or that. No, it's the formula. You get the formula, it's going to work out for you perfectly. Right. The fo- Do not get away from the formula. And most people say, well, you know, just because you do it that way doesn't mean... No, the formula works for anything. Like, I give it... Th- Perfect example. Like a, like a soprano. What did, what did Hesh tell Chris Moltisanti? See what I'm saying? A hit he is a hit. He just dropped it. <laughs> a hit is a hit. But the, 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 the point I'm saying is that it doesn't matter if you're working on the, Pythag- the, the Pythagorean theorem. theorem. Mm-hmm. What, what, a squared plus B squared equals C squared. It's still a formula. It's a formula. It don't matter what you enter into A. It's still a formula. You can enter. A could actually equal 2 minus A. But it still had to be. It it is still a formula, right? That is the value of what a is, right? A is fourteen. It's still a value, right? A is three x plus six. That's still a value. That's that right. is still that's right. It doesn't matter. I I was having a conversation. Excuse me. Just last night, and we were talking about. A food truck. Okay. And which food trucks have become way more well, have they been have they become more popular? Yeah, they have. Okay. They see, have. cause see now you have to question everything. Yeah. What the, and which you're supposed to. Which you're supposed to. You're supposed to. And so uh we were talking about the uh, this food truck, and the central point of it was okay, you may be good at cooking, but at the end of the day. If you don't keep books, you're going to fail. True. If you, because there, it doesn't matter what business you are in, there is a formula. Right. And that formula is make more money than what you spend. I don't care what business it is. If you are a pimp, make more money than what you spend. Right. If you're a drug dealer, make more money than what you spend. Because you don't want to be in debt. Make more money than what you spend. Or and, you fail. And, 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 and here's where I'm going to trip your head out. You can't just do it without keeping accurate count to compare it to something. Because then you start to say, well, if this is what I can get for this, let me see if I can spend less and get more out of it. Right. I'm going to push it to the limit to see just how much I can get out of this without having to spend and spending less to increase profits. I don't care what business you're in. I'll give you a perfect example. Beyonce, uh, the the former VP of Chase, left Chase to go and run Parkwood Entertainment and Management, which is Beyonce's company. And many people were like, well, how could he do that? He no banking. He don't know entertainment. It's all business, baby. Make, Make more money. Than what you spend. Numbers are numbers. Numbers are numbers. Make more money than what you spend. That's what it's all about. And a lot of people don't understand that particular formula. I don't care if it's show business, if it's a cleaners. George Jefferson had to realize he had to make more money than what he spent. Right. Now, I kind of want to shift gears slightly. Okay. Um, You know... Because we can go all day on, 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 on. We could. We, we could. We we'll go all day. We could. Um, recently, you know, um, politics has just been dominating everybody's yeah. conversation, man. Um, Trump, you know, statistically looks like he has lost the presidency. Yeah. You know, Joe Biden. He he lost the vote. He did. He lost the vote. So I don't Joe know Biden if he lost the presidency. Joe Biden is president elect at the at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Um, but. And that, and that's national politics, right? But of course, we have you know we're going to mention that. Mm-hmm. But if we if we kind of shift to local politics, which is where all politics starts and ends, everything. Um, we recently had the mayor's race. Mm-hmm. Um, it ended up being a, a runoff. It was like six contenders for it. Mm-hmm. We're down to two. Okay. Um, before everyone, you know, before all the, the final tally and everything was uh, happened, 
this is something else in your resume. You were one of the moderators mm-hmm. for the mayoral debate. Yes. Um, and, and I got to, I'm going to want to say this publicly, man. Thank you. That was one of the best and uh, how can I put this? One of the most rewarding avenues and events that I have ever been a part of. Man, I appreciate and, that. Man. And I ain't just saying that. I'm saying I like that. Be, I like to challenge myself. Right. And that was something that, like I said, when you come through journalism, you learn journalism, you start to admire journalists. Right. And what they did was allow me to go back to some of the training that I've that I've received, um, some of the things that I've been able to be a part of. And it made me feel like, okay, yeah, this is, this is, yeah. Oh man, you killed it, man. You oh, killed it. Like it, you, you did an awesome job, man. And, and, this, and shouts out to Kenyatta too for. Yes. For, Kenyatta, yeah. Kenyatta co-moderated yeah. with yeah. you. Um, but, and, and that was something new um, for us that we did because, you know, we talk about behind the scenes. We, yeah. were, we, we produce it as well too. Yeah. Um, but we did that. Four of the six candidates were, were present. Yeah. Um, <laughs> one in particular that there, there, there was a moment in the debate that, yeah. you know, if, if anyone out there watched it, um, you saw that towards the end, we're getting ready to close it down. And yeah. there, there was a bit of a verbal dust up mm-hmm. between our moderator here, Tony King mm-hmm. and one of the candidates, mm-hmm. E. Eric Gayrard. Yeah. Speak a little bit about that because, again, some people who watch this, they may not have even watched that debate because there, there was a lot of debates going yeah, on. Yeah. Um, but that moment in particular. And they may have popped in and then took out before. Right. Yeah. But that, that moment sticks out because it was, I, I'll be honest, it was mm-hmm. pure fireworks. Can, okay. you, can you talk a little bit about that? Okay. Uh, let me see. There's, there's... Politically correct, or or we we had table talk. All right, all right. <clears throat> we had table talk. So I have this thing, man, where uh, I do not suffer fools gladly. Like I am not like if you say something stupid, it really like on the inside of me really irritates my inner being. It irks you. It really. I mean, because you know, it irks me too. It more than irks me. Like, that's another reason why I've pulled away from social media so much. I just, I, stupidity. It's pur- running rampant. Purposeful stupidity. Now, if you don't know something. That's and, different. And, and you're willing to learn what you don't know. Hey, man, I, it's all good. Right. You know, we, we've all been wrong before. Right. But when you have people that are so adamant about their stupidity. I mean, they are just excited about it. They throw the flag up and salute it every morning. <laughs> the stupid flag. They wake up early in the morning. For yeah, that. playing the bugle. <laughs> and <laughs> salute your shorts. You know what I'm saying? Just and so uh, the candidate that you are speaking of. Um, well, first, let me say this: we were live streaming. Yes, it was. It was live. It, it wasn't it was, pre-recorded. It was. It was live streamed, and this is. Leading up to the presidential election, when social media uh, is taking a more uh, active approach in curbing disinformation, right. especially as it pertains to COVID nineteen, the right. coronavirus, SARS coronavirus uh, two, right? Okay, um, and so uh, SARS COVID two, and so um, one of the candidates began to repeat. The candidate you mentioned begins to repeat some of that misinformation. Right. And so besides being wrong, I'm also thinking about the fact that we're live streaming. And we don't want to have this pulled down. And we don't want to have this pulled down because somebody may not catch it live and it's here for them to check it out later. They can, you know, all these different things. We can put up clips. We can do all this other stuff. Right. So that, so that the voters can be informed. Right. And this particular candidate starts talking about. Uh, herd immunity right and saying look at sweden sweden is doing herd immunity we should be like that because one of the questions was about if they were to become mayor how would they handle if 
cases began to rise again as anticipated, which this was like three weeks ago. Yeah, and now cases are And now are cases rising. are rising as we saw. Right. So that's why the question was asked, like, what would you do as mayor if this happens? Right. Because it is predicted to happen. He starts talking about herd immunity and all this other stuff. And I couldn't let that misinformation go. And so I fact checked them on the spot. I thankfully enough, I I don't just uh, take in one news source. I take in all. Right. You know, a lot of people like to discredit your facts or the facts based on based whatever. on the, that particular source. But at, but and and so and, and I know you mentioned studying journalism. Mm -hmm. That's one of the rules. Yeah, that's that that, we, that, that is had. why you got at you least got, three. You, you have to have at least three. At least now don't, here's don't the come thing. with just the one. Here's the thing. You went to a totally different school than I did. I did. And what we are saying is the exact same, yeah. which shows you that it's true. Right. At shout, least shout, three. Shout out Dr. Lala Pavarian at, <laughs> at, at Graham State University Mass Communication Department. But but that's what I'm saying. At least three. Now, I had more sources. Right. You know. But you only quoted the one only, at, the, at the time I, because, again, we're live. We're live. And we were pressed for time. We were because we, we, were, we were in overtime yeah. at this moment. We actually, I actually was given the green light to... If there is something that is incorrect to push back on, but in the effort of time, I let some of it go because they were minor, and I was like, eh, yeah, 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 yeah it's minor. I ain't but this but one, this COVID one, was 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 major. He was, you know, pushing the herd immunity and 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 was stating fact uh, things that were not factual and accurate, and was referencing Sweden, and so I had to let him know that hey, just for the record, Sweden came out today. Matter of fact, it was like. 40 minutes prior. Yeah, because I because you were actually reading up on news before yeah, we even went live. Exactly. And I was like, uh, Sweden is, is thinking twice about that because Europe is going through this lockdown. Sweden is saying that their herd immunity approach is not working. They have the highest death death rate cases. It was like up to like 56% or something like that of people. Right. They have the highest death rate in all of Europe. And, you know, and, and I said... It was like second in the, in the in on the globe, right? And I was like, so they are uh, rethinking their approach. Just thought I'd put that out there. He wanted to say I was wrong. Oh, did he? He said I was wrong. He did. Well, no, I'm not. I'm looking at this. Who said that? The Swedish Prime Minister. He said that your source was liberal. He said it was a liberal media yeah. source because it was Time Magazine, right? But Time wasn't the only one. And right up under it was an NPR, the same NPR article, and below that was the AP. Right. You can't get no more objective than and, NPR. And, and they and, were they were they were using a direct quote. Uh, it was the, the it Minister. was the quote. I read the quote. Right. And so uh, he was upset at me. But you're wrong. Why? But and so does this go back to what we were talking about before, or what do you think? Kind of, you know, and and this is this is strictly opinion because you can't answer for him. Yeah. But what do you think drove his his response to to you fact checking him? Well, I think some people don't have the luxury to be stupid, and some do. Hmm. You know, and 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 forgive me for saying stupid if it if it triggers you. I'm sorry. I hope it doesn't because I do use it, use that term a lot. But but some people have the luxury to be ignorant and some don't. And I think that people like you and I, we don't, don't get that luxury. No, we got to be ignorance. Ignorance will kill us. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Oh, I get exactly what you're saying. Do y'all get what he's saying? You don't. I, I don't have the luxury to be ignorant. No. In any situation. And so for for him, he has the luxury to be ignorant. You know, he mm -hmm. has a different set of circumstances and, 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 and experiences that he grew up with. True. That allows him to, to have the comfort of ignorance. I right. don't. Many of the people you see walking around with, without masks, they, they have the luxury to be ignorant. Yeah. But when COVID hit, hits your house or when you know people who've had it, who, who've had to sleep on their stomach or in uh, the downward dog just so they can breathe. Right. It's a little different. It gives you different, a whole different perspective. Of or, or when you got to sleep with a fan on you because the air seems so thick and hot. Or when you are at a children's birthday party at the beginning of the pandemic and two of the people there are no longer with us. And, and, and it came down two weeks after that party. Yeah. 
Matter of fact, I think I remember you telling me about that. So we <laughs> don't have the luxury to be ignorant. No. He does. And many Americans who they they have the they get the they get that luxury. Right. We don't get that luxury. And so that's one thing that my parents taught me. We don't we don't get the same luxuries that some other people get. And so when we talk about things like privilege, a lot of people who don't look like you and I, mm-hmm. they think privilege means that they got this random richy rich bank account. No. Nah, no. It not. has nothing to do with money. Nah. Privilege, if I could sum it up, is the benefit of the doubt. The benefit of the doubt. That's not afforded to everyone. That's not afforded to everyone. Right. Where you have to prove that you are guilty, I have to prove that I'm innocent in the same exact circumstance. Right. You know, and so he has that privilege to be ignorant. I don't. So I have to operate with the best possible information that is given to us by the sources that we all commonly accept as trusted. Right. It's not my fault that you have people in power who want to manipulate that power by manipulating stupid people. Nah, sticking sticking with local politics. Okay. And you and you and I speak on But hold on, let me say this too. Go ahead. Go ahead. Another reason that that candidate also tried to discredit me is because he thought because of him being a lawyer a lawyer that has practiced and has probably had and has had some level of success, even though he was disbarred and recently allowed back into the bar association. True. He believed that that made him even more superior to me, not knowing what my history is or how read or learned that I may be. So that was another thing too. Again, that goes back to privilege and luxury. Right. I have to prove that I am worth your time to have this level of conversation with. You don't have to prove that to me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And he and he was quite confident in his rebuttal. And was wrong. He was loud and, and wrong. wrong. Yeah. He was confident. Extremely. And wrong. Now, staying 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 in this realm, because you mm-hmm. and I speak about, you know, the local political activities. <laughs> um, you know, on a on, on, on a fairly regular basis. Yeah. yeah. Um, one of the, the, the hot button issues over the summer was school board activities. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was school board activities. Oh um, you know, you had, uh, they, they, they named the new superintendent over the school board. Mm-hmm. She's had to resign for health issues. I was about to say, like, she, that didn't, that was, yeah, she came and got a check and peaced out. Grand opening, grand closing. Don't they still have to pay her the full amount of that contract, if I'm not mistaken? So, I, something like that. It's I, a, I'm not completely sure on that, so I can't speak on it. But okay. I'm, but it's not. It's completely not the wrong possibility. Okay. Um, Which but, I mean, if they hiring around the corner, and I got a hook up, hey T, go get that. Hey, look, man. If I go hey. and get that check, then I buy months on. Well, you, know, you know, we flip you, that. You know yeah. what I mean? And then, then you gonna keep getting straight. You know, just thank <laughs> your boy later. You know, that's, that's I ain't it. Mad. Bro, man, walked <laughs> off with the with the slow bar. <laughs> Uh, but school board. Yeah, we we had, we had the school board, the superintendent issue. But even before that, um, mm-hmm. they had the renaming of Lehigh, which is now known as Liberty High. Okay, that was discussed as well too. And it was you know these, um, these very impassioned mm-hmm. arguments, we'll call them, as to you know renaming that as well. And in the midst of that was the Connie Bernard situation. Mm-hmm. Now, online. What was the quote? What was uh uh uh? I came up here talk to talk about you, kind. That's it. Yeah. That that's one. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Now, online, I've 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 made it very known my feelings on, on how things are presented. Mm-hmm. In no way have I ever defended Connie Bernard. Mm-hmm. In no way have I ever come to her aid. My critique has always been in the manner mm-hmm. in how we proceed. Are we making noise or are we really trying to change things? Now, online, some people said, you know, why I'm hating, mm-hmm. you know, why you can't just let it be. Man, black man getting some shine. Go you ahead know, and let that man. It was, yes, what's wrong? We always want to tear each other why, down. Why, why, you, why you doing that? Mm-hmm. Because my thing was this, because in, in response to the Conor Bernard thing, you know, I, I want to talk around the situation. In response to that, um... The tell the truth, shame the devil. Yeah, uh, 
in 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 response to kind of Bernard, um, well, I'm trying to I'm trying to get the gather the whole story, so you know mm-hmm. people who may not be familiar with it. Yeah. But apparently, while they were discussing renaming the school, she was online shopping. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, could have been worse. She could have been looking at porn. She could have been looking at porn, which would have been extremely worse. Because then we got to dig in. See, if if you see the rabbit hole, you got to actually go down it. Because now it's like, okay, what kind? Oh, we know what kind. Oh, yeah, she she, looked, she, she, her, she her search she, yeah the she, search bar is probably yeah, you know probably interracial <laughs> BBC <laughs> I can't with you a little um, brazers <laughs> but she was she was she she was called online shopping she was called she was called out on it by Gary Chambers uh-huh. he comes up to the podium and he makes his viral moment yeah. which I'm pretty sure many people have seen and if not just Google it over time yeah, yeah. um. Following that, mm-hmm. you know, because that 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 was a moment mm-hmm. right there, and you know, I have no problem calling people out on, on hey. anything either. Hey, do your thing. Yeah, but after that, the follow up to me was weak, because what was then said was, "Hey, all my followers, mm-hmm. let's call the school board office so mm-hmm. we can get Connie Bernard removed." Mm-hmm. Now, if we know anything about the school board, they're elected, right? You calling the school board is not going to remove Connie Bernard. It's only going to jam up the switchboard. That's it. Yeah. Connie Bernard is not going to know how many times you call the school board. Yeah. That's not her direct line. Yeah. It's not her number. She don't even know that you've done that. I'll take you a step further. Um, do you, do you, I hate talking on the phone. I, I'm, I'm a fan of in-person meetings. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm because I, because I feel like if I'm speaking to you, I need to be able to. We are in this moment, right? I need yeah, to be able to see your yeah, body language, yeah, yeah. facial expression, yeah. all of that. That 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 matters. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you know how not busy you have to do to keep calling the school board? You have to have oodles of time on your hand. That's a that's that's a huge ask for people, and we're gonna do it multiple times a day, every day. Yeah. That's a huge uh, over time. Yes, that's a huge ask. Um, the 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 bus boycott. Yeah, that didn't just happen overnight. Not just that, and I, I and I'm not talking about the one in Baton Rouge, which was a precursor. Right. Which there was one a uh, 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 a trolley train car boycott in early 1900s in Vicksburg, Mississippi, which was considered a precursor to the 1955 Tell 1954 the one here. Tell all the history. You know what I'm saying? It's is one in 1896. Oh, 1898, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Same in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Tell tell all Okay, the just just throwing okay. it out there. Bo- bus boycott by okay. um, by black folks. Um those things happen over time. Yeah. But also that was like 369 days or something like that. It was a long time. And also they affected some type of industry yeah. to, that made people notice. You calling the school board office. Business, money, make more than you spend. It's a formula. It's a formula. It goes back to the formula. It goes and, back to the formula. If, if, your, if your thought process is, I'm going to disrupt you on social media when this person ain't even on social media, mm-hmm. you're winking in the dark at that point. They don't know anything that you're doing my thing with it is this i feel like it's it's leading people down the wrong way and it's giving people false hope when you know better because if you're saying you know and 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 he's even responded to me on on social media about this yeah because you go you 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 will call it out I did. Uh-huh. And he said that it was a it was a component to a bigger plan. And mm-hmm. I said, well, why are you not promoting the bigger plan mm-hmm. at hand? You know, you're promoting this every time you're talking, you're talking about calling a school board office. Oh, why not let us know what the bigger plan is? Never, never really said anything about that. Yeah. But it was always we're going to, you know, the, the, when he does the videos and everything is always we're going to call the school board office and we're going to get her removed. So now you're leading people to believe that this is the route that you take to remove an elected official when mm. you know that's you, not going to do you, anything you, you to the elected know. official. You don't know. You also have to look at the fact that what district is she in? Is mm-hmm. that a safe district? And I try to explain all this. And I was called a hater. I remember. Yeah. Not by him specifically. Let me clear yeah. that up. He he, yeah. he he never called me out my name or anything yeah. like that. But followers of his, mm-hmm. 
you know, I'm hating now. And it's like, no, I'm not. I'm trying to inform that if we're going to, I'm all for it. Yeah. I'm, I'm all for it. But let's have a real plan of action, not just noise for the moment. So occasionally, even on social media, I post, it's kind of Bernard still on the school board office. Is she? She is. She oh, just, she just was. Yeah, they, they just had a school board meeting not too long ago. She was present. She was there. What, what, was she looking at porn again? Uh, I'm not I'm sure. Not, I'm not going to say it again. Let me yeah, stop. Let me yeah, stop. Yeah. Let, 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 Allegedly, let, she let, was, you know, we, we don't know what she was looking at on the computer. You know, BBC. we. <laughs> Braces. <laughs> but but <laughs> she, she's still there. And she's she's vowed that she's going to be there until the end of her term. Mm -hmm. and, and and for all intents and purposes. Are they that, still calling? I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know what happened to that movement. I don't know if they're still making calls or not. But I know that the school year started and she was still there. I know that she just recently voted on the interim superintendent. Mm -hmm. She's still there making decisions. So my thing is, are we making noise or are we making change? Which one are we doing? Because it's the, it's, it's it's the noise. Because if 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 we're trying to make change, then okay, let's make real change. Let's look at the district that she's in. Okay, now let's study the voting patterns of that district. That takes too much time, man. You don't get no love for that. But I'm okay. just saying, you know. Do you get likes for studying voting patterns? Maybe not. Do you get re reposts and retweets for for strategically coming up with a plan that works? Like, like do, do you get love? Like, there's no instant gratification in that. And I guess because I'm not of the microwave mentality where I'm looking for instant gratification. See, see what you need to do, brother, <laughs> is you need to realize <laughs> that see all that noise. People don't want all that noise. Man, let me tell you something. If you play the mute, the people will come. <laughs> Mo better blues you, reference. You, you, if you play what they like, they will come. <laughs> <laughs> shadow, Shadow Henderson. Yeah. So Shadow Bam. Let, 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 let's take this, this this chess board right here, right? Right. That game is called chess. Not you, checkers. You don't just move pieces willy nilly. Each piece has a like there are rules to the game. Right. And each piece has a designated amount of moves that it can make. Right. And that's not made by you or me. That's made by the rules to the game. Right. And for elected officials, and it, and it varies in different areas. Right. But, but in this but, particular but in this area, area, in this particular area, in order for a person, an elected official, to be removed from office, there has to, it has to be a recall. Right. And in order to receive a recall, there has to be a, a certain amount of signatures within the jurisdiction which that particular particular elected official represents. Right. And if you don't get that, you can call till the cows come home. Ain't nothing gonna happen. She's gonna yeah. still be in meetings looking up uh Lulu Lemon pants. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna be in meetings <laughs> looking up all the uh 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 you know polyester pants as she can do, find. Do they have a sale this week? You know what, what I'm she's saying? She's gonna be trying to she, figure out. She, I, I bet you her computer is Black Friday out waiting oh, for that she, next school board meeting. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But but her but, Amazon account is lit. But that's the thing, is that we don't play within the rules we don't understand the rules to the game and understand what the underlying motivation of everything i'll give you a perfect example just to take it back to national politics right we have uh like you said it looks as if uh president trump and i'm only saying that because it's out of respect for the handle i'm, I'm only putting a handle on that because of that right <clears throat> but it looks as if he is going to lose the electoral college based upon the projections because it's all projected at this point right. until it's the electors been. actually submit their votes in Washington, D.C. in December. Right. And so. Which at this point is, is, is kind of an academic process. Right. So with that being said, you know, you've you've had a lot of progressives and Democrats and liberals and, you know, people say, well, the, the national popular vote has been won by a Democrat six of the last seven elections. Right. Which I think now, including this one, will be seven of the last eight. Right. The only time it was not was Kerry. Yeah. He, <clears throat> lost, he lost uh, to he, W and he, he lost a W and 04. But Al Gore won. The, well, let, first, let's go back. Bill Clinton won. Mm -hmm. Then Bill Clinton won again. Right. Then Al Gore won the popular vote. Right. And then Barack Obama won the popular vote. Right. And then Barack Obama won the popular vote. Then Hillary Clinton won the popular vote. Right. And now Joe Biden has won the popular vote. Seven of the last eight elections, a Democrat has won the national popular vote. Right. And so, but we have not had seven of the last President. eight presidents. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so 
there's there have been calls to eliminate the electoral college. Well, keep saying that it's antiquated. Yeah, as much as it may be, it's not going to go anywhere because they are winning the game. Right. I can guarantee you the electoral college will be changed by lunchtime if Republicans won the national popular vote and Democrats won the electoral college. Exactly. It, it would be changed by brunch. It's just like gun laws got changed in California when the Black Panther Party started when carrying they, guns. Not when they started carrying guns. Well, open carry. When they open carried in the middle of the California State Assembly. Yep. Uh, assembly Law was changed, what, the next week? The, instantly. Instantly. Yeah. I, t- I say this all the time. If, if, if Democrats really want gun control, they should encourage every black person to get an assault rifle and head to their capital and like and, the militia group, like, like the militia groups and just sit there. It'll be changed. It'll be changed by lunch. Perfectly legal. It's, it, it is right now. It, it would be changed by lunch. Yeah. Whenever the rules are benefiting the, the party in power, it's not going to change. So what I say is in order to change the rules, you have to start winning by the rules. And, and what we have to stop doing is stop Stop trying to appeal to a sense of morality because there is no morality. If if someone has shown you that my morality code, my, my, my moral code is different from yours, then what does it matter? There's no commonly accepted moral code anymore. No. So what you have to do is you have to beat them on strategy. You have to beat them, you know, pinpoint the districts, beat them by the rules. And when- then and then once you're in a position, then curve the rule. I guarantee to, to you. you if you beat them by the rules, those rules will be changed. Yep, absolutely. If 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 they were able to go and get the 7,000 signatures or however many they need in order to recall her, I guarantee you, you will no longer be able to recall a school board member. No. But that will not be it. No. I can almost guarantee you, whenever you start to win the game by the rules, they will change the rules. Which is why, even if you look at someone like like Stacey Abrams, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of people will say she was cheated out of the governor's She race. was. You know, that, what did she do? She went out and, she, and she, she got, went out and, and she, registered over half a million voters in that state. I believe 800,000. 800,000. That is how you come back from mm-hmm. someone trying to cheat you. That yeah. is how you come back from having to take a loss. You don't sulk. No. You don't, you don't get online every day and no. give people a fool's errand to do. Yeah. Because I'm going to continue to call making phone calls to the school board off as a fool's errand. Yeah. Because that's what it is. Yeah, it Especially is. when we know better. It doesn't do anything. What it does is it serves someone. Now, what does it serve them? Hmm. It serves the individual. Yeah. Well, because cause my thing is this. You always have to ask, what, what does it benefit? If someone's sending you on a fool's errand, how does that benefit them personally? You, you, you I, I get where you're going with it. I think... I think you are giving some people too much credit. Maybe. And I, I are are there political operatives that that? No, fund? no, no. I'm 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 not going that deep. No, 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 no. I I am. Are there because there there have been other things that have gone on with other people, various places. True. And are there political operatives who fund uh, operative movements and infiltration movements in a certain political parties and political? Uh, uh, movements and certain uh, on the ground movements, absolutely. Yeah. Um, do many of the people that we think are a part of that get that? No. I think for a lot of, uh, I think the cult of personality pushes a lot of people to want to be a cult like figure. They want the likes. They 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 constantly go back to social media just to check to see how many people like their cool phrase that they said or how many people you know uh like they uh woke ass uh message that they right. put on a snap or whatever you know right. what i'm saying so there are a lot of people who that's all they're moved by they they like that type of thing mm. oh yeah and you know while i'm at it let me drop my cash app and y'all put a dollar in there you know if 25,000 people see it or buy this merchandise yeah about this merch that I, that I recently got you know what i'm saying that's like it's gonna help fund what again yeah but I'm not knocking the hustle. Everybody got a hustle. Just be just be honest about just it. Just be honest about it. It's a grift. We all got it. You don't, know what I'm saying? But don't, you know, my thing is don't paint yourself one way and you're doing something else completely different. Just be honest about it. If, if, if this is a hustle, just say, look, this, this is what it is. That's my thing. 
No, I'm with you too, but I think they feel like they can't get. It's almost like lying to get some. If you, they they always <laughs> say, you know, if you just be honest, and then so you be like, all right, well, shit, I'm trying to just get some. Why I, I want to be married? Oh, here you go with that book. You said you want the truth, man. I told you I ain't leaving, man. Go on that book. <laughs> Why you lie to me? Okay. I'm trying to trying to be real, but then I can't get no cut. <laughs> trying to see what that do. I just want one time. That's it. Just once. I'm just playing. I don't want once. <laughs> multiple times. No, I don't, I don't even want it multiple times. You can keep that. that shit Sip trouble. your water. That's it trouble. You you trouble. <laughs> so got be from seeing by the. Uh, so uh, with, with 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 the local political scene and the local activism scene, however you want to. Man, frame we have that. a long way to go, man. We are so misinformed, and the reason why that we have a long way to go is because we're so misinformed. Right. You know, we 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 because it goes back to the original point of people not reading books, not reading books, uh, politically apathetic. You listen to people who are just as stupid as you, and you know we get our information. Most most people get their information right now from social media memes, mm -hmm. anecdotes, and small clips of videos. Right. Attention spans are getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Videos are completely out of context. Totally out of out of context. I saw the video floating around. Um, where they have Joe Biden quoting a memo mm -hmm. about I forget the guy, but he was trying to I guess get a get a government contract, something like that. Mm -hmm. And Joe Biden was against it, mm -hmm. so he's quoting the internal memo that the guy sent. Yeah, and that clip was cut. Mm -hmm. And it was spread around. They were saying, see, we told you Joe Biden was a racist. Because yeah. he's quoting the memo where the guy is saying something to the effect of, you know, we don't want these niggers around here, da da da, yeah. da. But he's quoting the memo. Yeah. We have lost what context actually means. Yeah. You know, are we mad if someone is, is reciting a song? Are I mean, we? especially if they're, if they're proving a point, if it goes to prove a point that they're... Right. Like, I... I'll put it to you like this, and it's it's funny that you brought Joe Biden back into this. Mm -hmm. I never advocate or tell anybody who to vote for. No, nah. I'm I'm real big on that. It's your choice. Use it how you want to. Just don't use it for Kanye. That's it. That's the only thing I'll say. You can vote for whoever you want to, except for Kanye. I always say it. Just make sure it's someone viable. Right. Don't because the time to, in my opinion, the time if you if you want to just have a protest vote or whatever like that. Yeah. You about 15 years too late. Well, I'll tell you like this. I, I, I give it to you like this. Third party candidates always take votes. Right. In, in, in national elections. Right. We talk about Bill Clinton. Well, we forget Ross that Perot. Ross Perot took 18% in 92 and 16% in 96. This is true. Like Bill Clinton won the presidency with 43% of the national vote. Right. You can look that up. Is there? I know what I'm talking about. Ross Perot had 18 percent of the national vote. Let's not forget Ralph Nader in 2000. Hey, hello. Let's not forget uh, uh, Jill Stein and Gary Johnson. Yeah, that was nine percent of the vote that they took. Right. In 2016. Right. Third party candidates in national elections always take the vote because that they, they don't have enough undergirding to to really be a viable force i will tell you like this in the 1968 presidential election where you had uh richard nixon against for, former vice president hubert humphrey mm -hmm. against george wallace staunch right. segregationist george wallace right george wallace actually took home a couple states bro i saw that he took a couple states now the election was still very close between Humphrey and Nixon. Right. George Wallace took a couple states. Yeah. So what that means is the 1968 election and the winner, Richard Nixon, which later produced Watergate, the war on drugs, all of these other things that you like to blame Joe Biden for. That was brought about into this country. Because of a third party, serious third party candidate. Yeah. And he pr and people think he probably could have won more had he not had a vice presidential candidate who was talking about using nuclear weapons. Yeah. And, and but this goes back to study in history. But I'm giving you history right now. And I'm going to tell you, do not take my word for it. Go and Google and read the books. 
It's what year Gay Rod told you. <laughs> he said they ain't gotta listen to me or you. They just look it up. So we saying the same thing. But give, I'm saying the, the same advice. thing. Yeah, look, look it up for yourself. I, I have no problem with anybody questioning anything, even like when they talk about questioning this vote. Recount it as much as you want to. Anything right. to give you the peace to know that Joe Biden is the president elect. Right. And if it's not the case, then hey, it is not the case. Right. Made the bet. Made the person who wins fair and square win. Exactly. I have no problem. No one's trying to subvert the truth at all. And, and like I said. You can look those things up, but in national politics, third party candidates always split the vote. They right. always make it easier for a, a uh, one of the two parties to win without getting at least 50 percent. Do you feel locally that happened with the recent mayor? Absolutely. Office? It's happened the last couple of uh, mayor elections. There's no reason why our last uh, election and now this one should have had to go to a runoff with a candidate who we all know did not pose a real threat to win or or did not pose a real threat to go to a runoff. Right. And to siphon votes that are would have had a better chance of going to the person who did get the most votes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. It seems very purposeful. What do you think's behind that, though? And I said, at this point... You want to be honest? I'm going to be honest. We're keeping it real. Be be, be as honest as possible. I think what's behind that is knowing that we can't win straight up in in an election where the city, not the parish, the city has almost 50% black people, which traditionally vote one particular way. We can't win straight up like that. So what we are going to do is... Muddy it up a little bit. Muddy it up a little bit, and we know y'all ain't going to come back in a month. Right which gives us a better chance to win this thing. And we're going to put this candidate in here who has our interests of not uh, having a lawsuit against us for trying to break away and make our own city that is way more white. So we won't have to have, we, we say it's under the guise of schools, right? but it, it has nothing to do with schools. It's the fact that we don't, we feel like our tax dollars are going to fund you niggas. Right. Which, I mean, which, you know that, and that's an old trope. By that's the way, a, that's that, that, that's that's an absolute great pivot to where I was headed next. Was the St. George thing mm-hmm. because you know I, I live in that area and I don't want to have to write St. George on. And I am not living there. <laughs> I ain't trying to add that. I'm not living there. So you know I I I, I, I look <laughs> at things like that, and if you look at you know how they strategically redrew the map from yeah. the last time. The last time they they tried it, they came up short. They, and, and, and and that's the thing. They 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 tried it. This is the third time. Remember they tried yeah. it. They tried first once it was, before it first was a it was, citywide vote. Well, first it was just the petition. They couldn't get the petition at first, and they retried that, and then they got the the citywide vote, and they failed on the citywide vote. So they, you're right. This is the third time. I mean they they've tried multiple multiple times. Right. And they figured, well, we just gonna make it to where the people who we are including in this thing has I'm, a vote. I mean, they carved that thing up. That they they, they they were so creative with carving that. I up. mean, they they cut out houses. Right. Like somebody's house right here is Baton Rouge and right next door, yeah. you St. George. Yeah. And it's like Yeah. And it's like gerrymandering on steroids. It is with 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 terminator parts they 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 got the idea i was reading in the atlantic because this made national news right um they got the idea from uh sandy springs in georgia okay where they i think i think i think i heard about this they actually in sandy springs they actually have it to where when they initially broke away from atlanta they were saying that uh, they wanted a, com- a more pure community. Mm-hmm. They were they were outright about it. Oh man, pure! That, pure. I, haven't, I haven't heard that. Word. Oh, that's 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 yeah, good, that's, that's good. That's good in, ooh, good in German, nineteen thirty nine. Oh, you don't make it like that. Chef's kiss. Ooh, yes. And so, uh, yeah. So they actually contacted their lawyers. They went through the whole process. They used their formula. Mm-hmm. Formula again. Back, back. And so their idea is to secede from Baton Rouge. Yeah. And that has become a common thing that you see people who cannot agree politically. Uh, take my ball and go home. T- take my ball and go home. What's funny is 
there are other examples of it working in East Baton Rouge Parish, i.e. Central, mm-hmm. i.e. kind of Zachary, but there are also areas that didn't work so well, i.e. Baker. Right. And so um, that is kind of a precursor for what they are trying to do. One thing that I think is interesting now is that St. George is really a microcosm for America. It is. And it definitely is. I I have friends. I hate to say this. I don't hate to say it, but uh, one, one, one of my good friends is a ardent Trump supporter. Right. Like he's been a conservative since I've known him for easily 15, 16 years. Mm hmm. I mean, he's been a real conservative, but, and he'll still say he's a conservative. Even now. Even now. Because I tried to throw a Republican on him about two days ago, and he was like, no, I'm a conservative. He is a true all-out Trump supporter. I mean, he believes that the election is rigged, all the talking points. He, he watches Newsmax, bro. Oh, man. Not even Fox News. He says Fox News is is too liberal. Is he on OAN now too? He ain't on OAN. Oh, because you know OAN. That's, and, that's... He, and, and he's not on QAnon. I'm happy. I told him if you get on QAnon, bro, I can't hang with you. You can't be my dog, man. But and, and and he's older than I am. But he is a, a a an ardent Trump supporter, and he shared with me something that I didn't know. After the election, he said. He's been hearing rumble, rumblings in different groups and you know different people. Mm-hmm about secession but you know that 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 talk was was sparked a little bit even under uh president obama yeah when obama was in office now here's where again when you don't know history it makes it makes it difficult for you i i I beg them to secede Mm -hmm. please so we can invade you and take you over no it's see i and i've shared this with you i'm about to share it right now um the civil war the civil war never ended. I say this often. Mm-hmm. A lot of people think I'm crazy. The civil war never ended. There was never a true end of war process. When the terms of surrender were agreed upon at the Appomattox Courthouse with General Robert E. Lee mm-hmm. and Ulysses S. Grant, who actually knew each other and fought with each other in a uh in in, in war. Right. The Mexican Mexican American War. Oh, pause. And so uh um they they knew each other 20 years prior. When the terms of surrender were pre- presented before Robert E. Lee, mm-hmm. he never fully surrendered. He said, I even though he signed the uh the the surrender, right, he never verbally said it. He said, I admit that the North has more cannon and more men than I do. <clears throat> Legalities. So But I mean that that's just like Jefferson Davis was <clears throat> was later pardoned. They all were. Yeah. Which which, which which is also why you know, you end up with, you know, these military bases still named for Confederates. You have streets, uh, towns, schools, schools, all of that. Mm-hmm. They're still named for Confederates because, like you said, it was never when we went to Iraq. Mm-hmm. We made it a point. Everybody does. Take him when 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 if, if we're talking about war mm-hmm. and then our side wins. Mm-hmm. It's it, it's all the iconic videos of them snatching down Saddam Hussein and statue. beating his head with them uh, sandals. <laughs> right, taking take yeah. take take his face off the money. Yeah, ain't nothing gonna bear his name no yeah. more. You know yeah. when 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 the Nazi Party was defeated, Germany. Mm-hmm. It we, wasn't no Hitler High School. Nah, we stripping all of that with the fighting Nazis. America's yeah. the only place to where we had a war, mm-hmm. and it wasn't stripped properly. And and they were actually. Uh, treasonous, yeah, and they High were crimes. they they were to forfeit their lands, all of that, and the reason that they did not, many of them went to Washington, and admitted it, apologized, and were allowed citizenship back. Right, and with that, they never fully suffered. No, the cost of war. I mean, sure they they had people die, but they never fully. 
uh, had to suffer what it was that they, they never had to pay that price. No. And they were granted their full rights. So they never then. really just learned that lesson. No. And so the war continued. But there was a 12 year period, though, where America was the when you talk about make America great again. That 12 year period, that reconstruction, mm. America was a great ass society during right. that 12 year period. Because at that time, that's when, you know, you had black people getting involved in the political process. Yes. You had H- Hiram Revels. This first black senator from Mississippi. And the second black senator was from Mississippi. He black gonna, folks voting. He going to keep in hell with that Mississippi history, though. I, we can you can look at Robert Smalls. South Carolina. And and then you have to ask yourself, okay, why are these people not talked about? You know why they're not talked about. You know. Because they don't Rob, want you imitating them. Robert Smalls, to me, that, I would I would much rather see a movie on Robert Smalls than uh, 12 Years a Slave. Oh, yeah, me too. Solomon Northup. Yeah. yeah. I, I would much rather see that movie. Yeah. I'd much rather see a movie, you know, and I know everybody was was just in awe of the Harriet Tubman movie that came out, what was it, last year? I would much rather see the movie on Robert Smalls because here's why. And y- y'all look up Robert Smalls. Yeah. Robert Smalls is someone who, he was born into slavery. Born into slavery. Um, he, and I, I might be jumping ahead a little bit, but you know, I got, I got to hit the high points. Mm-hmm. He commandeered a Confederate ship. First, he you know he he learned how to how to how to work and sail and all of that. He was no, he was working the Confederate ship. Right. Learned all of their codes on when passing Confederate ports and things like that to allow to be accessed, so that he would not be attacked. He learned right. all of this. Nobody taught him this. He learned it, and then he commandeered the ship. Hold on. He went and got all his people. Yeah. That's what I mean. When he commandeered it, he okay. sailed to free. Then he came back, got all his people. Got all his people. Sailed them to freedom. Sailed them to freedom. Right. And then when the war was over, became a a a, a representative for the state of South Carolina. Yep. And then the story don't, don't even stop there. He bought up land. He he opened businesses in the area. And that wasn't, the, I, 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 I want to say that wasn't the only elected office that he held hold on i you you know now i got the i got the, I, you, you you know i'm about to but but you know you, you you say and and now here's here here's the kicker i didn't learn about robert small until i was an adult me too you know and that is something that should be questioned why is it that we're not you know every every, every february every school across the country has black history month programs mm-hmm. and they make it a point to teach about black people and Martin Luther king you know and Martina Luther King. That, 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 you know, that, that's it. <laughs> They're going to teach you. It, it's like they teach you about uh, slavery. Parks. Slavery, yeah. And then Frederick Douglass. Mm-hmm. They're going to squeeze some Frederick Douglass in A there. little bit. They just really. Yeah, they're going to they they, 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 they gonna sprinkle a little Frederick Douglass in I remember in Frederick Douglass popped his head into my black history probably middle school. Yep. Then they're going to go from Frederick Douglass. They're going to they gonna mention Booker T. No. That was high school for me. Uh, well, they oh, he, he, okay. So elementary, what it was with me was slavery, Frederick Douglass, sprinkle a little book of tea in there. Fast forward, Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks. That's where it ends. I'm gonna because, tell you, because when I was in elementary school, this, this, this before Obama. I, I'm gonna tell you for me what it was. It was slavery, Martin Luther King, slavery, Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King, Jesse Jackson, mm. and. Here's why I'm going to trip your head out. I remember a packet that I got when I was in second grade. And it had Maxine Waters in the packet. And she was a California state legislator. Le- legislator. Right. Maxine Waters. Uh, oh, what's her name? From, uh, from Illinois. First black senator in the common era. 1990. I'm looking at her face. Uh, I can't call her name, but I know they... They, she was in the packet. They gonna sprinkle a little Shirley Chisholm in there too. Shirley Chisholm, Barbara Jordan, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, Jackie Robinson. Yep. And well, well, they they not that. Here's no, the thing. I, no, I got Jackie Robinson in. in well, well, no, I I did too. But here's the thing. Notice I say they gonna sprinkle a little this person, sprinkle yeah. a little bit of that person. They're gonna overwhelm you with the sports figures. Mm-hmm. Jackie Robinson was always Jesse there. Jesse Owens. Jesse Owens mm-hmm. was always there. 
William um, Rudolph for us. Right. But they never highlighted the track stars that, um, I can't call their names now, but you know, they, the black. Oh, fits. Tommy Smith and, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Now they'll, they'll highlight everybody, but they won't mm -hmm. highlight them. Yeah. They'll highlight Michael Jordan. Cause when mm -hmm. I was coming, they would, they would, they would highlight him as well too. Yeah. Um, but they never made mention of Nat Turner. No, they're not. They never made mention of Marcus Garvey. No. They never made mention of a Robert Smalls. Or this is one for you. Alonzo Herndon, the first black millionaire in the state of Georgia. A lot of people give it up for Madam C.J. Walker, and rightfully so. Right, as we should. For at the turn of the century, there were a few businesses that black people that 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 were upwardly mobile for black people. One of them was to be a porter okay. for George Pullman's boys. Right. That was considered one of the fastest routes into the middle class. Um, another one was in, in the hair care industry. Right. Or insurance first, then the hair care industry. For uh, this particular person, Alonzo Herndon, from the state of Georgia, born into slavery. When slavery ended, it was ten, he was 10 years old, could not read, could not write, learned the trade of barbering. A lot of people don't understand what the red, white, and blue on the barber pole actually means. The red is, you know, you for doctor, hair care, and the blue was for teeth. They, right. A lot of people don't know that dentists, that uh, barbers used to also operate uh, in the capacity of a dentist to a certain degree. Mm -hmm. Alonzo Herndon learned his trade, built up or, or started his own barbershop, built it up to where he had four barbershops, used to cut presidents, major dignitaries, all of this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. During the Atlanta massacre, the first place they burned, because he had a shop on Peachtree, they burned his shop down. He was like, fine, cool. Took his money, flipped it, and started the Atlanta Family Life Insurance Company that still exists to this day. He wound up marrying a professor who taught him how to read, had a son, sent his son to Harvard, and when his son graduated, came down, ran his business, and took it to the, to the, to the heights that it is now. It still exists and is a traded company. Hmm. Publicly traded. Atlanta Life is what it's called now. It's Atlanta Life. You can look it up. They've named projects after him. They've named parks after him. Alonzo Herndon, the first black millionaire in the state of Georgia. Also, did you know that the first black doctor in the state of Georgia was a woman who graduated from Fisk University. See, I'm dropping dimes on you right now. But I, but I want to know are we going to get likes? Bro. Dropping dimes on you right now. Yeah. Past this prologue. Yeah. All this stuff that we see right here, man, this is, this is a repeat, bro. Exactly. This is a repeat. Think there's, about right now. There's nothing new under the sun. Nothing new. Think about right now what a lot of women are doing that's getting them a lot of the businesses that you see. If you look up Nielsen's State of the Black Consumer, they put one out every year, mm -hmm. and it lets you know about every aspect of the black community based upon these re this research that Nielsen does now in conjunction with Essence Magazine. Some of the law, some of the the, the 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 most profitable businesses and where we spend a lot of money as the black community is health and beauty aids, right? Ha hair care. Think about what a lot of women are selling: hair, makeup, lashes, eyelashes. I mean. It, how's that any different than Madam C.J. Walker? Same blueprint. Or Alonzo Herndon. Same formula. Same formula. The formula don't change, bro. Nope. It does not change. The game don't change. The game don't change. And I'll tell you Just another the players. one. players. Eliminate the middleman, and that's how you make the money. When you produce the product, my dad was a pharmacist for 35 years. Had his own business. He had four pharmacies in Houston, Texas. Huge. Okay. I asked him, why did he get out? He said, whenever you don't produce the product, you will never make as much money as you possibly can. See, a lot of people will, will sit there and look at you and they'll see mad game on your chest. They'll see these mics, these, these quality ass mics that we got here. They they'll quality. see these lights. They'll see all this stuff. Quality ass cameras that's filming us right now. We got three of them right now. Quality ass cameras filming us right now. They will never ask why you got that. Because if you don't have to go to no art house and rent no cameras. Nah. 
You don't have to go nowhere, no, no type of company to rent your cameras. So what does that make you do? That allows you to be able to produce content and be able to, to do it with low overhead. Right. Which is the name Spend of the game. Spend less, make, make more. more. That's the formula. The formula don't change. I don't care what you do. Right now, we are filming. Can I let them know where we're filming? Well, yeah, of course. Upstage theater. Upstage theater. The whole purpose of this is we don't have to go and rent no brick. You can come right here. True. And you can and you can can enjoy quality entertainment. We got theater seats out here. Yeah. I ain't talking about some fold out chairs. Which you you have been on this stage. I have, and it was it was awesome. You've you been on this stage. I love it. You know? I ain't even gonna lie to you. <laughs> but think about that. So now what that allows you to be able to do is to bring quality entertainment and make more. Because now when I put people in here, I it's all bring back. Right. Based upon whatever the mortgage is, but we all know mortgage costs way less than rent. Right. Think about that, man. The formula does not change. But we out here doing stuff that, man, let me tell you something. We are in the middle of a pandemic right now. Right. And I know y'all can't tell because we ain't got masks on, but we did all, the, all up until the time. we. Which, time which was, is why we're still social distancing. Which is why we're still socially distanced. Which after the pandemic, I'm still want a social distance because I, I ain't trying to be sitting all close to you, man. We I am too, man. You know, I'm 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 good with the social distance. I'm good with just dapping everybody up now too. But 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 here's the thing, right? Okay. A lot of people took this pandemic and they're like, "Oh, we losing jobs and the economy and this and that and this and." True. Okay, I get it. But in a time like this, it's time to pivot. It's time for you to plant your foot in the ground and pivot into a new direction. It doesn't mean that you have to stop doing what you're doing. Nah. It just means you have to find a better way. You got you got to open you got to open yourself up for newer ways. New, a, a book I always recommend anybody to read was Who Moved My Cheese. Mm. Oh man, it's a it's a quick read. You can read it literally in a day. In, in a day. one day. In a day. But but I will say this: don't read it in a day. Study it. Yeah, I, I will study I, it because it's a book that I've gone back to. Yes. And let me see, I read that. I remember I got it for Christmas. A yeah. funny story. I don't want to get you off, but go ahead. It's a I, funny no, story. But I, I mean, I, I remember my, my dad put me off on the book. Mm -hmm. And it is it is exactly the mentality. And that's what it, it, it's always about. It's about the mentality that you mm -hmm. possess. It's not about just how much information you consume, but the mentality that you have to apply the information that you're consuming. Mm -hmm. And... Like I said, I implore everybody to read Who Moved My Cheese because it, it teaches you how to not just get stuck on one thing mm -hmm. and to be open, to be fluid. fluid you know, you got yes. you got to be like the water. Yeah. Water takes on whatever shape it's mm -hmm. in and it's going to continue to be water. Mm -hmm. Whether you put it in a bottle, mm -hmm. if it's through a water hose, yeah. if it's through a tube, a straw, water is still water, but it's going to adapt to whatever it's yeah. around. Yeah. And it's about adapting and then proceeding from yeah. there. And, and, and that's the thing. I think, I think because of our current educational system, mm -hmm. we create worker bees, people who need to take direction and what the pandemic did or should have spotlighted is that we need more innovation. Well, well here, first let me say this. Jamie Dimon, who's the CEO of Chase, said America does not have a problem with jobs. America has a problem filling or finding qualified people to fill those jobs. And that's why if you think about it, most major business owners are in favor of immigration. Right. Because basically what they're saying is that Americans lack the skill set to be able to fill these jobs and more and more people here gets me more money. Right. It's more productivity. Right. And so the problem is is that we have an education problem. We spend too much time with anecdotal evidence or 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 not spending enough time studying. Not spending enough time studying and building in, into something. I gave you a perfect example. I got a friend, uh uh another friend, and uh he's a traditional white guy. Yeah. Like traditional was a media major at uh what's it uh what what's it uh Nichols, Nichols State. Okay. All right. Used to run the radio, all that type of stuff. And he spent time reading Coding for Dummies. And just picked it up. Picked it up. Started coding for a major telecommunication company. 
like getting paid like six figures. And, and that reminds me too. Like I had I had DJ Scrap on mm-hmm. a, a while ago, and he was saying how he picked up coding, and you know from there he created the Bro app, which is a yeah. music streaming site. Yeah. Which, you know, again to me, and I told him to his face, and I said again, that's something that should be completely highlighted because who else is doing that? Yeah. You know, this is an actual streaming site on the level of an Apple or a Title, or and but, he's doing independent, and he ta- and he's self taught on how to just code. But see, that's the thing, though, right? Right. It's a low barrier to entry. I mean, you, most people operate at a, at a low barrier to entry. That's a high barrier to entry. Right. With delayed gratification. Because he had to he had to study first. You got to study it, and practice it. Yeah. I'm sure that's not the first iteration of it. I'll give you a perfect example. I've written six scripts. Since since COVID six, six that are in development, six, six and working on a seventh right now. And you know who the seventh is for. I told you. Yeah. Because remember when they called. uh, Yeah, I remember. I I know we we can't divulge that. But that so that that did did spark a New Jack City reference. It it, it did. It did. That was what six going on seven. I can almost guarantee you as dope of a writer as I believe that I am I've never written one version of a script oh yeah at at my best it might be 11 for each one of those six right might be 11 a piece like yeah but I mean what it, it takes time. So what I'm saying is that bra app probably ain't his first one. That's not no. the first version. That's not the whatever. So think about that. Delayed gratification. Most people, there's a there's an experiment called the Stanford Marshmallow Experiment where they 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 put these kids around five ish, six ish, and they say, Hey, look, here's a marshmallow. You can eat this marshmallow right now, or you can wait 15 minutes and you get two. Most of them eat that one. Exactly. And it's supposed to teach them. It's supposed to let you know who has self-control and who doesn't. I, pr- I, I more than likely would have been the weight so I can get to. It depends on if I was hungry or not. Me personally, me, me knowing me, it, 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 I would I would have got the two. I probably would have got the two. I probably would have tried to make a deal to probably get the whole bag. Like if I wait an hour, I can, can I get the whole bag? I can see you trying to talk your way into an extra marshmallow up front. Yeah. I, I mean, like, let me get the whole bag. I can see that. I'd be like, so if, if 15 minutes, I get two. It's four 15 minutes in an hour. Can I get four? Like, that would have been me. I can see you doing that. It would have been no see- thing for me to wait. Like, if I know, if I know that I'm going to get something, it's no. Let me tell you something. I am willing to go through hell to get what I want. But I don't you, care. But you, but you have to have that type of determination. See, people, people, people. I don't even, for me, I don't see it as determination. You know what I see it as? A full blown knowledge. Well, it's, it's also how you're built. And, and, and that's why we, you know, just going back to what we were talking about before, that's why you have people who want a certain status, Mm -hmm. but they don't want to employ the work, the research Mm -hmm. to do it. People want to be in shape, but they don't want to eat right and exercise. Right. Are you talking about me? Because because I, I ran four miles this no, morning. No, I'm not talking about you. Because and, 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 and I'm getting back. I, I had a binge worthy week last week. No, I and ain't talking. No, I'm talking about the people who, you know, even even if you look at like the Cardi B's, mm-hmm. she she openly said she had the surgery after mm-hmm. being pregnant because yeah. you know I don't have time to work out. Yeah. Okay, that's microwave mentality to me. Yeah. Because it's like. You're doing all that, but how are you going to look when you're 40? And then, and, then, and then you look at someone like, you know, a... Uh, Nicole Murphy? Like a, like a Nicole Murphy. Like a Halle Berry, where these women are in their 50s, mm-hmm. you know, and they haven't had work done on them. Yeah. They just were disciplined enough to eat right and work out. But... That, that I know of. That yeah, I know yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I, but, I, but, I don't know for sure, but... I, I'll share this with you. A lot of people don't have the discipline that's why you know and 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 i really hate that i was not a bigger fan of him and that's kobe bryant right because he was very disciplined very disciplined you will never get anything that you say that you want and notice i say say you will never get it if you don't have the discipline to institute the stanford marshmallow experiment experiment like i'm okay with looking like i fell off because you don't know what I know. 
Right. I'm okay with people saying, oh, man, they ain't doing nothing. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Because you don't know what I know. Right. Like, I'm okay with, because I'm okay with you looking like you are ahead right now. Because one, we're not even the same race. We're no. not even the same lane. We're not even the same race. Like, we're not even on the same level. No. Like, like JV don't play at the same time as varsity. Like, and I ain't even varsity. I'm like SEC over here. Jay Z already home song. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm referencing. <laughs> yeah. So 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 my thing is, you know, I'm okay with that because you don't know what I know. And 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 the thing is, I don't need you to know. Because, and I don't because how is that gonna benefit me if you know? That's the thing. It used to bother me that you didn't know that I, what I knew. Now I don't care. It don't matter because I take it as you not seeing me. As a compliment. Because we're not in the same circle. We're not even in the same circles, bro. What what I look like commenting on a Facebook or an Instagram or now Twitter's my Twitter, Twitter, I ain't gonna lie. Twitter, Twitter my thing. I like Oh, Twitter. you go live on Twitter. Twitter. Twitter's fun. But but what do I look like commenting on Facebook? Oh, got big things cooking. You don't even know the people that I got big things cooking. Well, with. and what does that do for the big things that I got cooking? Making the announcement ain't going What happens when it don't cook? Now you've made the announcement, you've put it out there. My thing is, I would much rather You 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 brought up the directing. I I really didn't want to bring that up. My bad, but I feel like it needs to be said. But but I would much rather post the picture of me on set with my name on the back of the chair. That's more powerful. With no caption. That's what I'd much rather do. Right. I'd much rather be in the middle of a scene and the set photographer takes a picture and we just post it a straight black and white and you see me in the middle of a scene with your favorite actor or that or actress. Right. And you're like, wait, what, 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 huh? People, people didn't know you were moderating the mayor's debate. Yeah. Until you were moderating Until the I was debate. moderating the, the mayor's debate. Yeah. They're like, oh, snap. That's Tony King. Yeah. And he sounds pretty articulate. Well, imagine that. I didn't even know. Yeah. So that's where I am in my life. I would much rather do that. I, I would, I, I don't want to go, I, if I'm in the same place with you, I'm in the wrong place. It's all about elevation. You ain't where I am mentally. Which is why the result that I get out of my life is, think about this. I want people to say, do you still live here? I love when I get that question. You know the question, well, you know the comment I love when what? people see something that, that was produced and they say, man, you know, it looks like it wasn't produced here. Oh. That's always a compliment for me. Well, go that. figure. People say that. Yeah, I, 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 I like that. Like, what did you expect? Yeah. Hey everybody! Yeah, you did you did saying? you expect yeah, you know wobbly? Yeah, and, yeah, you know. Yeah, it's it's, it's all it's, Nat but, sound and it's all airy. You hear? <laughs> <laughs> but that that's always Joba, Joba. That, that's 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 always a high form of compliment for me. Yeah, but yeah. man, um, we definitely have to do like a part two I for know, this man, man. like Golly, I know. we definitely gotta do a part two man you definitely gotta pull back up to the table i know man we getting to wrap it up b we we yeah yo, like, wrap it up b yo, yeah like man like <laughs> yeah 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 we 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 we, we really are like man, we like, didn't even like get a chance to talk man man and then we was gonna talk about we, but and then yeah we did miss our opportunity yeah. for that so yeah we we definitely have to do like a like a whole nother part but that's okay Cause I mean, you know, we we control the content, yeah, yeah. and we we can do whatever we want to do. And it ain't like you got to rent these mics. No, we don't. You know what I'm saying? So, let me let me let me let me say this. All right. I appreciate you pulling up oh, to the man. table. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's always fun. Yeah. Uh, you got any last words for everybody? Uh, a couple last words. Um, read, think before it's illegal. Um, and. Stop caring what other people think and detach yourself from social media. Do it for a good month. And I guarantee you, you'll feel better. You will feel so good. You'll feel better. And cut the news off. And if you have to listen to news, listen to NPR. Some completely unbiased. Yeah. Well, Tony King is funny. <clears throat> Or just Tony King, not because he wears many hats. <laughs> you know, he is funny, I'm but. I'm multi hyphen it. Yeah, you know. I'm actually getting away from that, really. But from from the is funny part, I, I I don't know if I'm going to do comedy again. Well, 
again, but you know, stand this, up. This, this is, this is this in this moment in my life. I, I, I feel like when I was, uh, when I was emotionally empty, it was more of a, a necessity. Now it's more of a, until I have something to say, when I have something to say, I'll get back on stage. But we'll be waiting. Uh, might be waiting longer. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll be waiting for some project. Oh, you on. won't be waiting for that. Okay, well, we're in anticipation for that. <laughs> you won't be. <laughs> big things coming. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> so, yo, listen, this has been another edition of Table Talk. Again, I appreciate you for tuning in because you really could have been doing anything with your time, but you chose to spend it with us. You could have been looking at what Connie was looking at. Really? You so, could have been looking at, uh. Nope. So remember, I ain't gonna do it, man. I'm being good, man. Cause pastor watching. It. It's only two types of people. You either at the table or you on the, the menu. menu. You choose which one you're gonna be. We out.